Good morning. As is the custom of this congregation, we are going to extinguish a light on our candelabra. This one for Bill Wise, a longtime beloved member of this congregation who passed away at home this Monday. Bill was 80 years old, seen still regularly here with Angie for events and luncheons. Our thoughts and prayers are with Angie and Bill's son and their family. But we extinguish that candle in honor of his life and the loss we all share. Good morning, everybody. Good morning and welcome to our live stream. You will notice something a little different. While I was away, the city let us know that they now hoped and expected that we would wear masks for the entirety of our worship services. So let's see how this goes. I hope you all are doing a screenshot because we're gonna need to put this in the archives, all to mark this chapter of our lives together. And I hope you can see our smiling eyes. I wanna welcome all those who are guests and I also just wanna thank everyone who's making this service possible this morning. Thanks to our musicians, thanks to Reiko Oda Lane up in the choir loft, we're at the organ and Asher Davidson, to Ben Rudiak Gould and to Bill Gans, all making beautiful music possible. To Jonathan Silk, who is really the coordinator of our sound and light show, but <laughs> and our communications and AV, but who's also a drummer. So thank him. To Eric Shackleford and Shuli Ong on camera, to Dennis Adams, who is my worship associate with a permanent smile on his face today. Joe Chapeau, who's monitoring the chat, so if you have questions, please just ask him there. Dan Bernard and Thomas Brown, who are keeping our building open and functioning for this morning. Judy Payne for the gorgeous flowers that grace the space. Alex Dar, who will be guiding you through coffee hour later on Zoom, and we hope you'll join. And just to let you know that right now in our building in another place, our lead teachers are meeting with Allison Jacks as the new church year begins to unfold in all the ways that it will look the same and different as we connect and stay connected and serve and witness together. If you are here for the first time or one of the first times, I hope you found the order of service that you can download. It's in a number of different places and it will allow you to follow the worship service. It also has our hymns in it and it has announcements about the life of this congregation. So a vital, a vital document to get your hands on. Today's service is in part or its entryway is in large part about this time in our collective lives as a family of life where we launch our young into the world at the beginning of this school year time. And so welcome. We will begin our worship service as we have every week since this pandemic started with a candle lit in this sanctuary in honor of all of you your spirit literally here with us until we can be together again in person. So welcome. And as you'll see from your order of service, it is time to sing. If you're home, I I think you have the joy and freedom to do that without a mask. The words and the music are in your order of service. It's hymn number 1000, which is normally in our teal hymnal. If you're here in the sanctuary, morning has come. So please sing together.
our tradition, we will have a unison chalice lighting. The words are in your order of service. We light this chalice for the light of truth, the warmth of love, and the fire of commitment. We light this symbol of our faith as we gather together. Hello, I'm Dennis Adams. Welcome. If this is your first time watching, thanks for joining us. You can follow along in the order of service, which is available in the description of this video and is emailed to everyone who receives our newsletter, which you can get by signing up through a link that is in the order of service and video description. The order of service also lists upcoming events and links to opportunities to connect including our Zoom coffee hour, which takes place after service. Please join in anything that interests you. I want to call your attention especially to small group ministry. Fall sessions of our small groups will begin the first week of October. The program is a meaningful way to connect during shelter in place no matter where you are. People can check the SGM page on the website that Jonathan updated this week for more details. And we'll talk a bit about that program next week in worship. Please look at all the opportunities available to you in the Weekly Flame, but especially look for today's program at 1 p.m. on unconscious bias, which is so important in our work to dismantle oppression. I believe that's all for our invitations, so let's center ourselves now in our worship by singing our meditation on breathing. The words are in your order of service. You can listen to our song leader if this is the first time singing it and then join in as we sing it through a few times together. When I breathe in, I'll breathe in peace. When I breathe out, I'll breathe out love. When I breathe in, I'll breathe in peace. When I breathe out, I'll breathe out love. When I breathe in, when I breathe in, I'll breathe in peace. When I breathe out, when I breathe out, I'll breathe out love. When I breathe in, when I breathe 